Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? Yeah, my name is Ugo Chu Young Asaranya. All right, where do you come from? I come from Nigeria. What's your topic's title for today? My topic title today is traveling with my family. So you would say my topic's title is my family. My yeah. topic's title is my family. My Okay, my title schedule is my family. Okay. Let me write it in here. You would say my my topic's title is my topic's title is family. Okay? Okay. And then examiner says, what are your four topic points? Then you say my four topic points are watching TV with family, traveling with family, eating out with family, and buying gifts for family. What are your four topic points? My four topic points, watching TV with family, traveling with family, eating out with my family, and buying gifts for my family. Okay, let's start again. This is Trinity College London, ISC1. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? My full name is Igochku Young Asaranya. All right. What's your topic's title for today? My topic title today is my family. What are your four topic points? My four topic points are watching TV with my family, mm -hmm. traveling with my family, Mm -hmm. eating out with my family and buying okay. gifts for my family. Okay. Good job. What kinds of TV programs do you like to watch with your family? I like to watch series with my family. And also I like to watch um, a comedy with my family. Okay. At what time of the day do you like to watch TV with your family? I usually watch TV during evening time, uh, during, yeah, evening time, uh, dinner time. Maybe after dinner, we can watch TV together. Okay. Uh, where do you like to travel with your family? I like to travel with my family uh, to my country, Nigeria, or I can also travel to uh, France as well. Okay. How do you prefer to travel with your family? How do I prefer or prepare? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Please come again. How do you prefer, prefer or prefer? Do travel with your family, how? By bus, by train, by airplane? I, I prefer traveling with my family. It depends on the distance. If mm. it's something closer, I travel, I drive my family. If it's distance, mm. then I travel by bus or I book a flight. Okay, could you tell me about the place where you like to eat out with your family? I like to eat out with my family in a restaurant, uh, like going to um, KFC mm. sometimes, yeah. What kind of food do you like to eat out? Um, most of the times we do eat if we request for my native food or we go on seafood. 
Okay, could you tell me about a gift that you bought recently for your family? Yeah, I've been I've been buying a different gift for my family and my wife, my children. I do shop for them. Sometimes I buy flour for my family, my wife, and also, yeah, different gifts actually. All right, all right. So where do you like to buy these gifts? What's your favorite place to buy gifts? Most of the time, I, I used to go to, I used to buy from Amazon, mm -hmm. getting gifts from them from Amazon, sometimes from eBay. And sometimes I will walk in to a shop like Primark, Poundsland here in UK, to get gifts for them. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. This is the end of part one, now part two. This is called the conversation part of the exam. In this part of the test, the examiner has a conversation with you for two minutes. Okay. And then you will also ask two questions from the examiner. The topic is saving money. This is the topic of examiner's choice. So how do you save money? Yeah, I save money in my account, my, my bank account. Um, like I have two separate accounts. When I receive my salary, then I, I map out some parts for service then that's how I save. Do you think it is important to teach children how to save money? Yeah, it's very important to teach them how to save money because it will also help them where they grow. Like my father taught me how to save money. I could remember when uh, my father will call me, um, I was too young, he would ask me, um, I have some savings in my bank account and I need to buy some property, come with me so that we can be able to acquire property. And the reason, he would not tell me, the reason buying this property is to save money for the property in case of future. Yeah. It's okay. All right, thank you. Now I would want you to ask me two questions about saving money. I'm to ask you the question? Yes, you ask me two questions. Oh yeah, um, how do you save money as well? Because I would like to know how you save money. Well, I save money by purchasing things online because that gives me an idea how much everything costs. Besides that, I do not like to eat out because it's quite expensive and quite extravagant to eat in restaurants. So I save money by not eating out and shopping online. Okay, oh, okay. wonderful, that's a good idea. One, one more. Yeah, and how do you achieve um saving money if you if your expenses are more to compare your 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 income uh well i think for that purpose if expenses are more this is what i've been taught by my father that you should find sources to create more income rather than reducing your expenses. The day-to-day -day expenses should be there. You know, you should not be putting a hold on either your food or basic necessities, right? You should not be doing that. Rather, increase the source of income to save money because in money could only be saved when you have enough for necessities, right? So I think... Uh, that's my strategy. By the only way to save money is to increase income, to be very honest. Yeah. Or add another source of income. That is the only way to save money. Besides that, no matter what you have, you are going to spend it in your day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, groceries or buying things or things that you actually need. You can't cut them down. Right? 
So yeah, I yeah. think uh, that is how to achieve. That is more hard work. And another source of income, you need to double your income to save money. You can't save money from half because it's already half. Yeah? Yeah. So, so this is how it is. Um, anyways, uh, now this is the end of the speaking test. Now, listening test is extremely interesting. Get a pen and a paper for you, please. Uh, Argo, I would want you to take a photo of this because if we continue classes, this is going to remain your topic of conversation. Okay, just a couple of minutes, please. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to uh, play a recording for you about mangoes. Okay. I'll play the recording twice. This is called the part one of listening. I will play the recording twice. Okay. You listen to the yeah. recording and answer six questions about the recording. Ready? Ready. Yeah. ISC 1, Task 1 Morning, everyone. I expect all of you like eating fruit, and today we're going to talk about one of my favourite fruits, and that's the mango. In some parts of the world, it is even called the king of fruits. It's surprising to know that mango trees can grow up to 40 metres high. I thought they were much shorter, Mangoes take up to six months to become ripe, so be patient. About half of the world's mangoes grow in India, but India exports very few of the world's mangoes. This is because Indian people eat most of their mangoes. I'm not surprised. People say if you give someone a basket of mangoes, it is a sign of friendship. Isn't that nice? Now, let's try some of the delicious mangoes we have here today and see if you like them. Now listen again. Morning, everyone. I expect all of you like eating fruit, and today we're going to talk about one of my favourite fruits, and that's the mango. In some parts of the world, it is even called the king of fruits. It's surprising to know that mango trees can grow up to 40 metres high. I thought they were much shorter. Mangoes take up to six months to become ripe, so be patient. About half of the world's mangoes grow in India, but India exports very few of the world's mangoes. This is because Indian people eat most of their mangoes. I'm not surprised. People say if you give someone a basket of mangoes, it is a sign of friendship. Isn't that nice? Now, let's try some of the delicious mangoes we have here today and see if you like them. All right. Now, I'm going to ask you six questions about mangoes. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. What is the mango called in some parts of the world? Some part of the world, they call it king of fruits. That is correct. How high can mango trees grow? Like 14 meters. Is it four zero or one four? One four. That is incorrect. That is 40, four zero meters. Okay. How long do mangoes take to become ripe? It takes about six months to that become is, right. That, that is correct. How many of the world's mangoes grow in India? Come again, how many? How many of the world's mangoes grow in India? Like 14? About a half. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Why does India export so few of their mangoes? Because most Indians, they like mango. Good. What does it mean if you give someone a basket of mangoes? It means friendship. That is correct. Congratulations. You have passed part one. Okay, from six questions, you must have at least three answers correct, and you've given me four correct answers. Great job. Okay, next one. Yeah. Now I'm going to play a recording about Bhutan, okay? About you what? Bhutan, Bhutan. Bhutan? Yeah, Bhutan. You just need to listen to the recording. And tell me in few words, what is this recording about? You're not allowed to take notes. Okay, no notes taking. You will just listen to the recording once and tell me in few words. Few words means in one to two lines. What is this information about? Okay. Okay. ISC 1, Task 2. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan. But amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Today, we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan. But amazingly, those people speak 20... Government asks the people about their... Could you tell me in a few words, what is this reporting about? This reporting about the people in Bhutan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about the, about the people in Bhutan and how they live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mostly they are, they like to put on, on traditional wares and the traffic light there is controlled by the police. Mm. And the police traffic, they always put on a white gloves. Mm. And it's about 800 people live in this Bhutan. Mm. Um, speaking up to 24 languages. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Very good. Okay. Now you're allowed to take notes. Okay. Take notes from the same recording and you have to tell me six facts from the recording. How many facts? Six facts. Six. No, yeah. Right. Listen. Listen, please. ISC 1. Task 2. Today, we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan. But amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. 
it doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Today, we're going to learn about a country called... Okay, now you tell me six facts from the recording. The six facts from the recording, I know one is the government protects the animals. Hmm. Second, um, the government knows to know the happiness of the citizens because the field is very important. Hmm. And second, next is they prefer using electric bike mm. Mm. and also yeah and also the people the so you have to take notes on on your paper did you take notes like eight hundred thousand people 24 different languages no. this week yeah i do i do take it of my first one Okay, okay. let me it. ask you some follow-up questions. How much of the Bhutan is forest? About 72% of the okay, for, uh, okay. Bhutan is forest. What can you see people wearing in Bhutan? Yeah, people wear their traditional wears as in town. Okay, what kind of bags are not allowed in Bhutan? They don't allow um they don't allow anything that is not electric. Plastic bags are not allowed. Yeah, plastic but bags. But anyways, you have passed this one, Argo. This is called speaking and listening test. This is very easy in comparison to general training. Right? You can yeah. easily take your notes and talk about test is over. Okay? Okay. And it, yeah, speaking and listening done. We have passed both. Now you just need to uh, work with, let me show you a reading and writing test so you can have an idea what to do with it. And you can easily pass this test within a few hours of uh, preparation. This is not a hard test at all. Okay, uh, let me show you the paper. This is called Integrated Skills in English, ISC1, Reading and Writing Sample Paper. It The time of the test is two hours. You have a long text reading that carries. Can you see that, Argo? Look, look at the screen. Paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four, and paragraph five. This is one long text reading with five different paragraphs. Okay? Yeah. And then you have uh, the questions. You have to match which paragraph carries the information. In this part of the text, 6 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 statements. You just need to find five true statements. And last one is fill in the blanks. Okay? This is long okay. text reading with 15 questions. Then comes multi-text reading. You have 16 to 20 questions. Which paragraph tells about the information? Here's your text A, your text B, your text C, and your text D. Right? Again, you have to choose five correct statements out of eight. And lastly, you need to go, oh, oops. And lastly, you need to do fill in the blanks. And this is the end of the reading test. 30 questions total, you need to get 15 correct in order to pass out of 30. It's 50 50. Okay, question types are not difficult. Passages are very, very easy. Okay, about bananas or something like that. You can also see the length is not too long. Very short reading test. Right or wrong? Yeah, right. Okay, now further we have writing test and that is the most interesting part. This writing test is from the reading test. 
right? You have to read the passages and answer these three questions after reading the passage. This is not creative writing. You just need to do integrated writing using reading, turning reading into writing. This is very easy. It's just a game of one lecture. No worries. And last one is, and also one more thing in comparison to GT, you just need to write 100 to 130 words, not 150 words in task one. And task two also just 100 to 130 words. So total number of words that you have to write is just 200 in this task, right? In general training, you have to write 250 plus 150. That makes 450 words. Do you understand me? Yeah, I do. Look at this question, write an essay. This is, you don't care if it's an essay, a letter or article. You just need to tell about a festival in your country. Give examples of what happens on this festival and explain why this festival is important, right? Very yeah. easy questions. I already know the questions that appear in the exam. So you, if you want to pass this test and this is required, you take this test. You don't take general training aisles. It's a waste of money. And then again, you will not get 3.5 or you will get not get four in one module. Then it will be a problem. Do you understand yeah. me? You book yeah, for this test. This is called Trinity College ISC1. This is only for people living in the UK, right? So when they have this opportunity, why you should book for a very difficult test? No, you should not. Look, I would uh, choose in here for you, ISC B1. Where are you right now? In which place are you? I'm in Bristol. Bristol. So which one, which place is closer? Birmingham, Glasgow, Leeds, London, Central Kings, London, East Stratford, AMP House, London West. Which one? Because only these locations are available. Only these locations are available. I'm in Bristol and the close the, the closer one. The only city close a bit to me in Bristol is like Birmingham, which is about two hours from Bristol. Okay. So your exam is available for 15th January, this one. Okay. Before that, no dates are available, right? Yeah. So you can book this test. It's a paper-based test, okay? And yeah. uh, everything is done on paper. If you want to pass, right? First, take your general training test. And if you think that uh, you can pass, then do it. Otherwise, you book for this test and take it. You will definitely okay. pass this test without any okay. confusion. Okay. How many times you have failed? One time only? No, once. Once. And the one I did, I think I passed, uh, I passed both... Uh, Reading, writing, speaking is only listening that I got two point. That's very uh, bad. Point. But in this yeah. listening, you are very good. In this listening, you can write on paper and answer to the examiner because no reading involved. Just listening to talking to examiner. So this one is easy. Yeah. Okay, so you can inform me about it. Which one do you want to book? I would guide you that please do not uh, waste your time and your money and book for this test and pass this. No worries at all. All right. Okay. Besides all right. that, mm -hmm. if you would want to look for, uh, if you would want to take classes, then you can let me know about it. I'll guide you about the payment schedule and everything. Okay. 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 Yeah. But first, I think you should take your general training if you have booked already, okay? Yeah. And then yeah, see if you pass or fail. Yeah, I have booked already, and that should be on the 29th. Yeah, you can take in, your test and contact, contact me after that. If, if you will fail, for example, you know, something bad will happen in case, then you contact me, all right? Then this test is okay. All you right. can take this one. Thank you so much, Agul. Right. Thank you. Goodbye, thank later. Thank you so okay. much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Goodbye. Yeah.